Hello, yes, rats, rubbish and useless counsellors, part two. The last few days have been very interesting and also very promising. I've received several phone calls and a very, very interesting email. The phone calls, the first one was from a lady in Kensington who was being plagued by rats. Uh, the property she lived in was uh, one of the... Um, uh, owned by the Riverside Housing Trust, I think it is. They'd done some repairs in the backyard and they'd left a big hole in the ground and were coming back a week later to fix it. But in the meantime, rats were uh, piling out of this uh, hole and running around their yard. I asked her had she been in touch with the council, to which she said she had, and they brought a black box uh, round and uh, that was meant to uh, catch the rats, but to no avail, she was at a wit's end with all these rats. So she'd received one of my leaflets through her letterbox. Uh, rats, uh, rubbish and useless counsellors with my mobile phone number on it and decided to give Joe Owens a call to see if Joe Owens could help her. The lady called me, I listened to her and I said, well, I'll try and contact the uh, Riverside Housing Trust and I'll put your case across to them and try and get them to at least try and bring the work forward. Uh, there was an emergency number, but I couldn't get through to that. I was permanently engaged. Uh, so I emailed them. I told them about this poor lady's plight with the rats and could the work be brought forward, please? Lo and behold, I got an email back, what you've seen at the front of the video, saying that they'll do their best. Uh, they'll pass it on to some management team, I think they said. Uh, and they'll do their best to uh, bring the work forward. So there's a little success for Joe Owens. I'm now connecting with the... Uh, residents of Kensington. I'm now communicating with them. They're now ringing Joe Owens up. Also yesterday there was an elderly lady called. Felt sorry for her. She was being played by anti-social yobs next door to her. And I explained there wasn't much I could do and whatever. I did feel like getting some of the lads, getting in my car, driving down there, knocking on the door and say, hey, fucking behave yourself. But I can't. I gave her uh, the best advice I could. She was happy with that and she said she'll be voting for me um, at the next council elections, uh, May 2019. So there's another victory. I also received a very interesting email from a landlord that lets properties out in Kensington. And he was totally shocked. Uh, he'd also received one of my leaflets through one of his properties. That was empty, I think, at the time. And he was also shocked at the decline of Kensington. And he said, the rats, the rubbish, the alleyways are just filthy. Third world immigrants everywhere. Um, he was really pissed off and asked how he could help my campaign. So it's all coming together. And it's just a bit of hard work, a bit of leg work, good leaflets, talking to the people and trying to help them as best you can. You see, those that called me, they weren't interested in the plight of the farmers, the white farmers of South Africa, tragic as it is. They weren't interested in the white farmers of South Africa or cultural Marxism, or they're gonna be a minority in 40 years time, or the Kalegi plant, Nick Griffin style. They're not interested. They're interested in their own personal plight. And that's what we have to address because to win our people over, we first have to reach them. And this is the way to do it. Okay, thank you.